Good evening, everyone. We're going to have a fun evening with reborn baby Georgia. Here she is getting ready to go. I'm about to dress her in a really cute Christmas outfit. And I can't decide if I want to leave this headband and mittens on her because um, technically it goes with another outfit that another doll is going to wear for Christmas. So I'm thinking about changing her into wearing these cute little pink booties. Oh, they just fell. And some socks and a um, tan colored bonnet. It is quite chilly too, so I thought it might be appropriate to completely cover her head with a hat or a bonnet. But we are going to get her ready to go and then we're going to head off to Walmart. I need to do some grocery shopping. It's a late in the evening right now. I haven't done a Walmart video in a long time. I think it's been like a month and a half or something like that. Anyway, let's stop rambling and get her ready to go. One more thing. This is the Stanley Oliver Sculpt by Vincenza Care. And she is sculpted to represent babies with Down syndrome. She's just so sweet. Such a sweet little doll. All right, let's get her ready to go. Miss Georgia in her cute outfit. We're in Walmart. Just looking at the baby toys. Haven't seen. They've gotten some new stuff or at least stuff I haven't noticed. <laughs> Look at this avocado toast with um, tomato, eggs, and bacon. That's really cute. And then I love this little teether coffee cup. So cute. I kind of want to get that. <laughs> <laughs> Not even gonna lie. For a cute little photo prop and for real babies to use. I have quite a few teethers. I need to grab a teether for a real baby, so that's kind of why I'm over here looking. I was looking at this one, but it's $8 for this little thing. So I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. Hmm. They have these muncher mitts or whatever these are called, munchy mitts. What do they call these? Oh, the newbie brand calls them happy hands. But I think they're called munch mitts <laughs> by other brands. I don't know. I might have to order something online. I came back to the teethers and I did find these ones, which I think will be okay for what we need. They are $6.24 for three of them, so that's not bad. So we'll get those. Huh, Georgia? Here, you want to hold those for the real baby? <laughs> There's her sweet face. For those of you who love to see her sweet face, she's not very popular on my channel, which makes me so sad. She's such a sweet little doll. Anyway, let's go and look at what they've got in the baby section, if they have anything new. I highly doubt it. We'll look anyway. Come on! My husband is distracted on the phone. He's not on the phone. He's looking at his phone. <laughs> okay. 
their Christmas stuff has pretty much been gone through. I think all the small sizes are all gone. Here, we'll put these in the cart. And then we'll go this way, because someone else is down that way right now. Oh, I do have some news. So I have two new dolls coming. So I will have some box openings coming up. One I've been waiting for since um, August. So I'm really excited about that one. I'm supposed to be here. Oh my goodness, there's so many people. So many people. We'll go back over this way. Because there's just so many people. And there's people there too. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll come over here and look at the pacifiers. <laughs> but um, I've been waiting on a doll since August. That was supposed to be my birthday baby. But um, the artist had a lot of stuff come up in her personal life. So she couldn't finish her on time. But the baby will be here this upcoming week. So just a few more days probably. Those are so cute. Look at those. I might have to get those. Is there a dollar forty-four? Those are really cute. Yeah, I think we'll get those. And then looks like they do have some newer pacifiers. That's nice. I do want to get a pack of not these ones. Those ones might work, but these in the pink and purple set for the new doll that's coming because the sculpt will take that pacifier. Look what I just found. Deal of the day, 50 cents on these passy clips. I think I'll grab two of them. Two or three of them. I'm actually putting together a giveaway box for summertime. So this would be really cute to go in the giveaway box because I'm putting together a girly one this year. I actually have a better selection than usual here. Our Walmart's usually really bad. And then, um, oh, I covered up Georgia for a minute because there were so many people around. But... I also did grab one of these in the pink and purple set because I don't know when I'll see them again. And the doll that's coming can fit these. And then a pack of $2.98. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, usually those are $3 each. So 50 cents is a really good deal. And then I grabbed a pack of these. Decided to grab these two for real baby. Needed them. And I actually did grab an extra one of these, so we have um, three of them. So one will be a giveaway prize probably this summer to go with my, a little giveaway package, and then maybe a gift for someone, and then one for me to keep. Just for fun. Right, I missed something because <laughs> I am legally blind. But anyway, these ones are 18 plus months, so they were like huge. So I'm going to go ahead and put those back, actually. And then the only ones they have in like a new one size are these ones, which already have these ones. So, yeah. All right, moving on. We really need to go get our grocery shopping done. Look, they already have some Valentine's Day stuff out. I walked right past this. Mama's my Valentine. Little candy hearts. XOXO. Kind. Loved. And they have these little rompers. Looks like these are only in toddler though, but those are really cute. That print is adorable with the strawberries. Hey, I didn't think they were gonna have anything new out, but these are cute. These ribbed pants are pretty nice actually. Very stretchy, pretty soft. Kinda like the outfit. I don't usually dress my babies for Valentine's Day, but it might be fun to do just one outfit this year, maybe. Not today, on another day. I had not seen these yet. This is a really sweet toddler pajama set. 
Bambi. I think I've seen all the other ones. I think I did show this little toy section in my last Walmart outing where my grandpa came with me <laughs> to Walmart. Uh, but I thought I would show it again. These knit blankets, I'm still so tempted by them, but the price is just too much, too much. But they're so soft, so nice. Yeah, I just can't do that for the price. Hopefully they will go on clearance. I think a lot of people think that this price is too high actually because these little racks of blankets are still pretty much completely full. Maybe a few are gone. So I'm not the only one who has that opinion about the price. Um, I think we're going to do a grocery shopping now because unless they have some more Valentine's Day stuff that I missed, let's see if we can find anything else. If not, we'll be moving on. are cute. Oh, I didn't see these yet. Spotted something else new. Well, new to me. I don't know how new these are to everyone else. <laughs> I love this set. That's really cute. Really cute. It's now about 9.15. Here's little Georgia. We got our grocery shopping done, so let me show you a quick grocery haul before we go check out. We've got a bag of potatoes. I've been making homemade mashed potatoes and everybody's loving them. Got some uh, chicken nuggets for the kids for lunch. Got some apples to do apple slices for the kids with their lunch. Um, I'm just trying to figure out some new things or add some more variety to my boys' diets as far as lunches go because a lot of times they just like to eat like a sandwich, like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or a grilled cheese sandwich. So we're just adding some variety there. I got an apple slicer, which makes things so much easier. I know I have one somewhere and I can't find it. But you know, that's what happens after moving. I have on the meal plan to do BLTs. So I grabbed some lettuce and tomatoes. Tomatoes are definitely not really ripe yet, but that is okay because we're not doing BLTs until sometime next week. I don't remember what night I put it on specifically off the top of my head, but we'll also probably move some meals around. We got some bagels for breakfast. We've got all the things that we bought in the baby section back there that I already showed. We've got some electrolyte drinks here, grape juice for smoothies, milk, spinach for smoothies, cream cheese for the bagels, bacon for the BLTs, a loaf of bread. My husband really likes Ovaltine. Don't know why, but he does, so <laughs> he got that. We got some blueberries and blackberries, again for smoothies, yogurts for lunch and smoothies. And then really quickly up here, we got some bananas. Gonna be making the kids some banana and oatmeal little muffins for breakfast. Um, and then I found that they had some cute really soft christmas pajamas on clearance so i got the boys matching christmas pajamas for christmas morning and then a couple of other little pieces of clothing some of these were four dollars clearance and some were five clearance so i thought that was pretty good so i picked those up i think that's pretty much it uh we grabbed another set of pj mask pajamas because our oldest son is obsessed with PJ Mask stuff right now. He doesn't really watch the show as much anymore, but he still really loves the characters. So we got him a set of PJs in the next size up because those are the only PJs he ever wants to wear. All right.
so that's our little grocery haul for this evening. Let's go ahead and get checked out of here and get home.